All right, we've been listening to New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy announcing that he is putting in place a mandate for students K through 12 and teachers. You have to wear a mask now in New Jersey when you go back to school. He says the hospitalization rate is just getting too high. He says he's following the CDC guidance. Uh, he says he hopes this is not permanent and that he can reverse this when the numbers get better. Uh, but that's the news for folks in New Jersey. If your kids are going to public school K through 12, they got to wear a mask. Yeah, looks like that's the way it's going and a lot of mm -hmm. other states going in that direction as well. Let's bring in New York City physician and Fox News medical contributor, Dr. Nicole Sapphire. So some good news and some not so good news there. The good news is the governor says that the schools will reopen in the fall. Uh, that this is not permanent. He wants to prevent an outbreak. But uh, one thing that I wanted you to drill down on, doctor, is he said anyone who tells you you can safely open schools without masks is lying to you. What do you think about that statement? Uh, the one thing you didn't mention is the New Jersey mom of three, which is why I had to have a massive opinion on what we just listened to. All right. Well, sorry um, we omitted that. Give uh, us the opinion. So, honestly, I, I, think that, um, I think that he is blessed with the gift of spewing a lot of rhetoric. I think that they, he, you know, they're missing the mark when it comes to school reopenings. Yes, first of all, first and foremost, getting children back in-person learning full-time, mm -hmm. the most important thing that we can do for our children, absolutely. But I don't think it is as black and white as people want it to think. New Jersey is not where Arkansas, Florida, and other states in the Sun Belt are right now with low vaccination levels and high case transmission. Here in New Jersey, we have a less than 5% positivity testing rate. He's saying as soon as we're able to, we're going to take off these masks. Well, what is that metric? We have to stop using this rhetoric and we have to actually give some metrics so people know what we're working towards. Dr. Fauci last summer said when we get to below 5% positivity, then schools should be able to open up free and clear as long as they have surveillance testing in place and contact tracing available. Well, guess what? Here we are, less than 5% positivity in New Jersey. We have a, one of the highest vaccination rates in the country. We have some of the lowest case transmission rates in the country. And yet we're saying that all children K through 12 universally have to be masked. What they're missing here is the headlines continue to talk about how more children are getting sick with the Delta variant, more children are hospitalized with the Delta variant. But I need to drill home to people right now that there is nothing at this point to say that the Delta variant is more severe in children. More children are being infected because adults are vaccinated and kids are together, they're at camp, they're congregating indoors together. There's a lot of transmission in kids right now, but it doesn't seem thus far that the Delta variant is actually affecting them more severely. We have to keep that in mind. So if we have low transmission, we have our adults vaccinated, our adults who are immunocompromised or vulnerable wearing masks, children should be able to attend school without masks on. Mm. Dr. Sapphire, you mentioned very quickly the uh, high vaccination rates in the state. So why not allow some of the younger kids to go back to school without a mask and have the teachers wear a mask? Is that a concept? I mean, I don't. I mean, I've been saying this for a long time at this point. I, apparently, he doesn't listen to me. Uh, but yes, that's exactly. We have we have a lot of data, not just from the United States, outside of our country as well, that show young children in school are less likely to transmit the virus to each other. It is the teachers and the staff that tend to bring the virus into school and give it to each other or even give it to a student. Well, the good news is teachers can go be vaccinated right now. And even if they're still nervous, they can wear a medical grade mask in addition to protect themselves. So the children, we have to let them be children. I personally believe when you have low community transmission, the, the teachers should be vaccinated and masked and the kids should be maskless uh, in, in, in less very specific situations. All right. Uh, Dr. Nicole Sapphire, thank you so much. We're, of course, going to be watching this and hoping the governor is right when he says he'll be able to reverse this hopefully soon. And redefining the phrase, doctor's right. opinion. <laughs> Doc, good to see you. Thank you. <laughs>